What I wanted to do today is show how you can determine which pins on your microcontroller can be used for I2S audio. So we have a couple of different products that use I2S audio standards, a really high quality audio standard that allows you to send digital to an amplifier, which can then send out beautiful, uh, full, rich sound. And when you use these, you may need to do some juggling around of which pins you're using for what, because not every combination of pins can be used uh, to do I2S audio. You have a bit clock pin, a word select pin, and a data pin, and you're not going to usually see those on the typical pinouts uh, for a microcontroller. So this was actually a really cool program that Catney developed, and what I'll do is I'm actually just going to run this again. So I'm just going to resave this to my little Feather microcontroller. Uh, and now what it's going through and doing is testing different uh, sets of three pins to see if it will allow those to work as combinations of those three pins that you need for I2S. For any of them that actually pass this test, they show up in this list. So now you can just go through and find a combination that works for you for your project. Uh, and what it does in code is it's attempting to set up an I2S audio on a set of pins and finding out with a try and accept if that works or not. So the key thing here is this uh, function called is hardware I2S, and then it has inputs of three pins for bit clock, word select, and data. Uh, then it goes through and tries pins that are available on the microcontroller, and then it gives you this nice list here. So now you can go through and find uh, a set that works for you. I like to go to some of the digital pins here, uh, some early ones, let's say, okay, D4, uh, D5 and A0, that's a nice little set that I could use. And that is how you can find out which pins on your microcontroller are going to be able to be used in CircuitPython with I2S audio. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec. <laughs> <laughs>